Memory, for this reflection, is not exactly referring to those things in your head, those tangled neurons full of stored sensory data from all your past experiences. Those are memories. By memory, I really mean storage, data storage, which, in any sense, is essentially the electronic version of visual and audible memories. I recently had a hard drive crash, but I didn't cry because I had a memory backup. Being a shameless shutterbug, I am constantly filling up memory cards from multiple cameras, all to be dumped onto a hard drive, which is then backed up to another hard drive, and eventually, the creme de la creme gets backed up a third time. That's my system. Always have at least one backup of all your digital content, and preferably in different locations. So why go through all that trouble? Well, here's what the folder with all my personal photos and videos looks like right now. So I got my first digital camera in 2004. Notice how there's not a 2004 folder? Yeah. One time, I lost 18 months of pictures and videos due to a hard drive crashing. I had no backup. Never again. Since then, I've always had a backup. All 120,802 files, totaling 2.2 terabytes, and growing. Yeah. So you might get the sense that I generally have photo and or video captures of most of my experiences outside of the normal daily grind but sometimes even those too. It's been nothing for me to fill up a couple 32 gigabyte cards on a weekend trip. If the internet can be considered prosthetic knowledge, then my hard drive can certainly be considered my prosthetic memory. Do I need all those images? Maybe not necessarily to sustain my beating heart, but I'm not going to lie. There are times when I think something like, hey, when did I take that selfie video in the pool with Ren's goggles on. And off I go, sifting through folders and files until I find it. In this approach, it certainly helps to at least have a vague memory of when it happened to give you a starting point. In this case, I seem to remember it being in early summer 2015. 2015 was also the year that I turned 38 years old. By my record, I captured 16,398 photos and videos, totaling 398 gigabytes that year. Divide that into shots per day throughout the year, and it rivals even the most ambitious selfie-snapping fashion model Instagram feed. However, on the flip side, since it takes time to both capture all those moments and look through them all, I often stumble across captured moments of experiences which I'd forgotten something buried deep in a folder, dumped to the hard drive long ago and forgotten until it becomes an awaiting Easter egg filled with memorable experience. In these times, I truly savor these nuggets of forgotten prosthetic memory. For that, my friends, is when this thing called memory serves me best. Thanks for joining me in this trip down memory lane. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. I'll show myself out now. See you tomorrow.